Hey, good afternoon. How are all of our beautiful soul family members doing today? Welcome to today's daily tarot love reading. It's exciting to be back here with you guys to be sharing this tarot love reading again. I've been I've switched over the channel to weekly zodiac readings, which has taken more time to do that. So it's been affected. You know, it's, we've we've noticed the effect in the daily tarot love reading. So I'm still trying to get all of that sorted out, but very happy and excited to be here and in front of the camera, in front of all of you, and sharing with you today. Uh, today is Friday, uh, October the 18th, I believe. I think it's the 18th. The time is 11.18 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, before I get into the tarot reading, I just want to share for a little bit. Uh, I've been sitting out here in my studio with a lot of my mind, uh, listening to music, and listening to a song called The Story by Brandy Carlisle. Beautiful song. Um, stories, stories, stories. I love to tell stories. I've, I've been a storyteller my whole life, right? And I love sharing, uh, you know, and over, over the, the, you know, the last several months, I've shared bits and pieces of my journey with you guys, right? But I actually feel, right, within me, I feel like, I'll come, there will come a time in my life, maybe sooner than later, that I really feel like I'm going to have the opportunity to share a story. Anyways, uh, to share more of the details about this journey. <clears throat> but prior to doing that, I'm also I'm reminded of a, uh, a story I read about years ago. Uh, it's a story about uh, it's about two climbers, uh, you know, mountaineering climbing the high peaks uh, they're up at, they're climbing in the mountains they're, they're, they're up in the higher elevations and uh, trouble hits them they end up slipping and falling into a crevasse so they fall out they fall down into a hole right so the net and they're actually now down inside the mountain <clears throat> and they can look up and they can see right the light you know from the outside above them And it's, it's a great story, right? Because it looks like the easy way out is right there above them, right? And they try, they attempt to, to take that route, right? To try to, to try to get out several times. It looks like the easy path. <clears throat> but it doesn't serve them very well. Uh, sets them back, right? Sometimes they can sustain and take on more injuries. So here they are in the cave. And I'm sharing the story because I identify with it in so many ways in my own life. That's why I'm sharing it. Um, so they reach a point, right? They're in the cave, and you know, you know, in many ways, maybe they go into hermit mode, where they go inward, right? Seeking and looking for that the inner strength, right? Looking for that, seeking for that guidance, for that intuition to to direct them out of the out of this crevasse, right? And they're hungry, they're thirsty. Anyways, in order for them to, to be able to escape, right, to be able to get away, they need to go deeper into the cave. They need to go step into the dark, which is a very scary thing, right? Because they don't know where it's taking them at all. It's the unknown. Anyways, I'm sharing the story with you guys because I feel like it's kind of, I relate to it in many ways, just looking at my own life, my own life experience, right? And I feel like so many ways, I've been in that crevasse, right? And I've been looking up at the top, <clears throat> looking for that easy way out. And, uh, and I've taken that route several times all throughout my life. And only to learn that, that that wasn't the route. So I'm at a place, right? Just within me, in my own life, um, come hell or high water, I'm not going through the top of that cave. So, anyways, I'm going deeper, looking for the way out and uh, changing patterns, behaviors, everything. And yeah, it's a little bit scary at times, right? <clears throat> I mean, I feel, I feel fear in my life right now, you know, because there are so many uncertainties. Um, yeah, I mean, and 
coming from so many d different directions, right? I mean, I love this channel. I love tarot. I love reading tarot. <clears throat> but the uncertainties in my life, I mean, it could, it could impact. Uh, it could impact, you know, what, I, what I've been doing, what I've been creating here. And I have fought it and resisted that, right? Because this is my passion. It's what I want to do. Um, but I need to... I just came to a place where I need to open myself up to the idea that, you know, whatever lies ahead, right? Whatever, wherever this darkness is, is taking me, right? Through the mountain. Following the, the intuition, right? Throughout my, throughout my journey, right? Through this, uh, through this mountain, right? Through the darkness. Listening to intuition, listening to the synchronicities. Feeling energy, right? And yeah, I feel amazing energy in my life. I feel all kinds of amazing intuition and synchronicities. But I just know, right? And I, I don't feel, I don't take credit for it at all because there are planetary movements and things. Uh, and I've looked at, at my astrological chart, so I know there's all kinds of activity taking place with me or all kinds of lessons and growth. But yeah, I'm at a place where, yeah, I'm just, there's something about me within me that it's like the bullshit is over with. Um, very determined. And uh, yeah, nothing's gonna set me off course. Uh, it's that kind of determination. And I'm feeling that kind of determination as an outside energy that is connecting with me. Uh, it's giving me the, the strength. Anyways, so here we are in the cave, right? We're working our way out of this, uh, out of this crevasse. And as the story goes on about these two climbers, I can't remember the time frame of how long they're in the darkness for, right? But they keep, they keep going down. They're going further and further into the mountain. And soon they see a flicker of light, right? So they go to that light and they're able to move some rocks around and suddenly, you see they're at the bottom of the mountain and there's a way out. So they're able to climb their way out and they literally claw their way towards water. Water, interesting. And they get to the water and he just they just drink the water, right? And they, 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 when they're describing it, they're talking about, they can literally feel this water running through and filling up like, throughout their whole body. It's a beautiful story and it's an amazing experience. But in many ways, I relate to that story. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys because I am working my way my way out. Uh, working my way out of this, uh, this crevasse and absolutely determined you know, to reach the end. And I have no idea where it's taking me. Intuitively, I think I know. Um, yeah, and I could share that, but I think one day at the right time, I'm gonna share it in a, in a story format. Uh, but we never know. I mean, this little journey that I've been on, I, I feel with every part of me that it's, I'm on a twin flame journey. Uh, and I don't wanna sound reckless saying that, right? But these outside energies, right, that I feel this connection, I've never felt anything like it in my life. Uh, and that means something to me. That matters to me. So, yeah, I've been trying to seek and understand, right, those energies, but working our way through the crevasse, right, working our way out of the mountain. So, anyways, I'm sharing that with you guys because maybe many of you can relate to that, right, in some way, shape, or form. Maybe by my sharing it, right, you're able to connect with it and maybe it opens up doors into your own life, right, to your own personal insight. Anyways, thank you for letting me share. So, I'm going to begin today's tarot reading. I want to just read from this book. It's not your money. It's by uh, Tasha Silver. And today, prior to going into today's reading, we're going to read a courage meditation. I really like this. Okay, it says, focus on your breath for a moment breathing in calming energy and breathing out any worry or fear. Imagine you're somewhere in nature that feels wonderful. You might be at the ocean or in a forest or somewhere else that feels healing to you. 
And whether you love, if you love the sun, let it come. I love wind, so I imagine a windy day, right? She says that, but I love the wind too, right? In fact, my galactic time is connected to wind. And there is some kind of draw and pull that I have towards the wind within me. Then you can pray to this force of love that encompasses everything, including you. You can say, I am ready. Fill me with divine courage. Fill me with divine confidence. Give me the ability to act when it's time to act and patience when it's time to wait. Fill me with faith. Fill me with trust. Let these divine qualities come. You can even open your hands to the sky and say, I am ready. Fill me with your divine confidence. May I learn to honor what I truly need instead of everyone else's opinion. May I listen inside to your divine voice. For a moment, energy's pouring into you. It's always been your birthright. You can pray for it to be available whenever you need. Fill me with your courage and confidence. Free me from the prison of my small self and let the right actions arise at the right time. You may hear a few words on the inside as you do this, and then, as you're ready, you can slowly come back. Take a moment to write down anything that happened. Okay, it's beautiful, actually. It's, the, it's a beautiful, you know, message of courage meditation, right? Because at the end of the day, all of us are seeking for courage, right? I mean, I have my journey that I'm on. We all have our own individual journey. There isn't any journey that's more important than the other. It's like, my journey is important to me because it's my experience. It's your journey is important to you because it's your experience. Being able to, to have the faith and to trust, right? Trust in the divine, trust in the divine voice. What is the divine voice? Your intuition, right? Your essence, your, your inner compass serving as your guide. Listen for the synchronicities. Follow the energies. Keep you know, paying attention to your own energy. It's a beautiful experience. Okay, let's get started. So I want to begin by taking a moment to tap the crystal healing bowl, giving it a chance to sing to us real quickly. Keep in mind, this is the perfect opportunity to remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading. Allow yourself to step into a space and a place where you'll be open to hearing and receiving any messages that are meant for you to hear today. It's a perfect time to breathe in deep too, right? Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. on this end. I hope it came through really nice for you guys. I hear every now and then in the comments from many of you that comment uh, that it does come through great. I love hearing that. It's great feedback for me. Okay, so the first thing I want to do to begin today's tarot reading is I want to pull a card from my Black Moon Astrology cards. Uh, it's a beautiful set of tarot cards. I love the energies in this card. Or these, this deck, and so the energy that we're pulling here. So this is going to serve as the, the the spiritual lesson, right? Taking us into today's tarot love reading. You know what's what's taking place, right? What what's the, what's 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 really meant to be learned and experienced here, right? Because the details are different for each of us. Right? The details come out in the tarot reading, but this will serve as a very important energy for us today. So the energy taking us into today's Daily Tarot Love reading is Libra, which is balance. The number 19, which reduces back to a 20, so a two. Twos are about partnerships, right? Communication, relationships in our life. Let's take just a moment and I just want to read real quick, real quickly, just briefly. I want to just mention the key ideas that are associated to this energy. 
So I feel like the better we can understand this energy, right, the more meaning and depth that we're able to pull from the actual tarot reading. Okay. <clears throat> For starters, don't go it alone. Linking up with a partner will serve you best. Okay, so here's the Libra card in brief. Partnerships, a wedding coming up, marital bliss, heart blessings, balance. Seeing the danger in going to the extremes, weighing up both sides to come to the best conclusion, seesawing back and forth, staying in the middle, fence riding, meditation, artworks, galleries, museums, and places with live music, not wanting conflicts, being agreeable, playing along, keeping yourself in check, law enforcement, courts, attorneys, and judges, bringing peace and acting as a peacemaker, signing contracts, cosmetics and perfumes, fashion, hair salons, beauty, not seeing value in something unless it is beautiful, having a perfect eye, an impeccable state or taste, creating something with great form and beauty, living the life of an artist, using wit, choosing a more laid back approach, letting things take care of themselves. It's equivalent to the Two of Pentacles in original Tarot. Key ideas are merging choices, romance, alliances, mutual support, and coming to a decision. Okay. So that's the energy taking us into today's tarot love reading. Now let's begin with the reading. I mean, so what I'm feeling, you know, partnerships, right? Partnerships, communication, right? coming together, friendships, romantic relationships. But don't go it alone, right? That's what it says. Okay, beautiful. So the opening energy taking us into today's Daily Tarot Love Reading, we have the Star Card. The card of Aquarius, right? So some of you, you may be an Aquarius, right? You may have an Aquarius in your life. This is a, it's a beautiful energy, right? Intuitively, I feel like I'm understanding this energy a little bit better, right? Being an Aquarius so it only makes sense, right? But this energy, I feel like this is an energy in many cases that comes right after healing, right? And what are we healing from? Right? We're, we're healing from the imperfections of humanity, the imperfections within ourself. The star card, this is a very balanced energy. She has one foot in the water and one foot on dry land. She pours one cup on dry land and one cup in the water, right? So this is a very balanced energy. It's, it's, it's coming to the under, understanding, right? That we're all humans, right? We're all imperfect beings. Nothing in life is ever personal, right? Including, Things where we take, you know, personally inward, where we blame ourselves, right? Hold ourselves accountable, hold ourselves in heavy judgment. This is letting those energies go, coming to a place within you, a place of inner peace, happiness, acceptance, right? Acceptance of yourself, feeling that connection, that connection with the divine. Just had the hierophant on the bottom. <clears throat> Okay, coming in next, we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, it's a limiting energy. It represents boredom. Right? Of, if we look at the figure here, she's staring into this, this water lily that's in front of her. She's unaware of these three cups that are behind her. Right? So <clears throat> it's representing the energy of, well, to put it simply, right, feeling like there's just more out there, right? There's a higher level of love, right? There's a more fulfilling experience out there that awaits you, right? But feeling disconnected from it in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> Sun card on the bottom of the deck. Card of Leo. Okay, here he is, the Hierophant. So we have the Hierophant now, which is the card of Taurus. So some of you, you may be a Taurus, you have a Taurus in your life, so playing a pretty significant role. 
the energy in this card by itself, right? This is about trusting our intuition, right? Listening to that inner feeling, allowing it to serve as our guide and our compass. And Hierophant holds up his hand right here, right? I always think when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, I trust, I trust, trust these energies. Two of cups on the bottom. <clears throat> Okay, coming in next and showing up at the center of today's Tarot Love Reading, we have the Eight of Cups. Right, so the Eight of Cups, it's a good energy. The figure here, she's been in the water. Water represents a lot of emotions and feelings. Notice she's walking out of the water, right? So she's walking away from a lot of the heavy emotions and feelings. Difficult for her to do because she's reaching up to grab the tree limb, right? To sustain her, help her to get out of the water. But an energy that serves us very well. Showing up at the center of today's Tarot Love reading. So put some significance and some importance on it. Okay, coming in next to the Eight of Cups, we have the Hermit card, which is the card of Virgo. Right, so some of you, you may, you may be a Virgo, or you may have a Virgo in your life. So we have the, we have the Hierophant, right, which is about listening to our intuition, now it's being emphasized here in this energy is what what is it that the hermit does for us right provides light right the guiding light through the darkness listening right in many ways is getting away from the world right i mean in many ways this is going this is falling into the to the crevasse right going into the cave you know getting away from the noises and the distractions right? not falling into patterns and behaviors that we fell into before, but really going inward and seeking for this guidance and this truth. Coming in next, we have the Three of Swords. Right? And this is coming in next to the Hermit card. So the Three of Swords, it represents, it's a limiting energy. We see three swords that are impaled in this person's heart, right? She felt it, felt all of them. So it's representing heartbreak, loss, pain. Right? For some, this could be connected to the Hermit. It's coming in right next to the Hermit card. So it could be connected to a Virgo in your life. We're gonna go after some clarification on that energy. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, so coming in underneath the Four of Cups, which is representing boredom, right? Feeling that life is unfulfilling, right? That there's more out there for you. Well, here it is, right here for you, showing itself as the Ace of Cups, right? So the universe letting you know there is a new beginning that awaits you. It's a beautiful beginning, right? Full of this higher level of love. In the beginning, it'll be different for each and every one of us. Right? It may be romantic love for some. Okay, <clears throat> coming in next, and this is coming in attached to the Hermit card. We have the World card. So this is a beautiful energy, right? This is representing the end of a journey, right? It's graduation time, right? Lesson learned. Let me say it again, lesson learned. Lessons learned. I feel like each one of these little lights illuminating around the world, right, are representing the different lessons, right, that are connected to this journey that you've been on. Notice, she's sitting in the lotus pose, right? So she's, she's arriving at a place of inner peace within her. She's listening to the arm of the universe. The world sits in this lotus flower, right? If we know anything about the lotus flower, it survives in the muck, right? The most extreme conditions. Notice, right, even in, throughout the muck, look at the beauty that comes out of the lotus flower, right? So I feel like it's letting us know this journey 
It's probably been a very difficult journey for many of you. At least difficult at times. Okay, so coming in attached to the Eight of Cups, showing up at the center of today's Tarot Love reading, we have the Ten of Wands. So here we see the journey, right? This is representing the energy of what feels like it's been a long journey, right? Letting us know this journey is coming to an ending, right? Because we're, we're, we're she's walking out of the water and that's the energy attached to this. So she, she's, this journey has ended, right? She's now walking a new direction. Okay, coming in attached to the Hermit card, we have the Empress. Right. So this is, this is a beautiful energy. Right. I mean, the Empress is a very balanced energy. You know, we recognize this energy as the mother of all things earthly. Right. So she represents unconditional love to everything and everybody around her. Right. Recently, I've kind of connected to this energy, right? To the Empress has the understanding, right? She can feel the connection, the universal consciousness, the connection between all life, right? People, animals, plants. She feels and sees that connection, right? Allows her to feel abundance, right? The important thing to note about the Empress is she's first learned to love herself, right? Before she's ever, she's ready to, you know, step out and love anybody else, right? So recognizing and feeling that love from within and it's, her ability to do that, that's what allows her to be able to, it's like the light in the hermit to illuminate, right? Illuminate the world with, with this kind of unconditional love. Attached to the Three of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords, right? So the Three of Swords, it's next to the Hermit card, the card of Virgo, right? It's representing heartbreak, loss, sadness, grief. Felt it, right? Something in the past that's, that's happened, right? But here we have the Knight of Swords, right? What is, what is he doing? He's coming in, right? And this Knight of Swords, this is bringing, he's bringing truth. That's, that's what this Knight brings, like all Knight energies. It's an energy you can count on showing up, right? So truth about right this three of swords coming in right maybe being able to gain a true understanding of it and intuitively i feel like you already probably do understand what it was about however confirmation of this coming into you okay energy taking us out of today's tarot love reading shows itself as the King of Wands. So the King of Wands represents fire sign energy. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. Right? The important thing about the King of Wands is it's a very confident energy. You know, the King of Wands, I mean, feels like he knows what he wants and he goes after it, right? It has a lot of high energy, a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, right? It's kind of energy that, that you know, a person takes on when you break the chains, right? Chains of Whatever's, whatever's been binding you, right? When you're able to break through those chains, you, you take on and you can embrace this King of Wands energy, right? Because now you're ready. You're ending one chapter in your life, right? You're ready to move forward with the new chapter and you're taking this King of Wands energy with you, right? Into this new chapter. Okay. All right, I have the cards laid out here. I need to take a moment now and look at them. I need to see and feel exactly what it is they're trying to share by way of messages. So give me just a minute to do this. I have my universal tarot set right here to go after any clarification if, if we want to do that. But give me just a moment here. Okay, so let's get some clarification on the Three of Swords. All right. 
Tell us more about the Three of Swords. Okay, so Three of Swords. I'm just going to hold these cards up here for you guys so you can see. <clears throat> All right, ask for some clarification. We want to see what is this heartbreak about, right? The sadness and the grief that's showing itself here in the Three of Swords is a clarifying, right? Clarifier here, we have the Lover's card, which is the card of Gemini, right? So for some of you, there may be a bit of Gemini, right? Connected to this energy of his Three of Swords, right? But it was, it was heartbreak over a relationship. It was over a connection, right? A connection that was shared by two people, right? Or felt it was shared by two people. Something from the past, it's already happened. Okay, now let's ask about the Eight of Cups showing up here at the center of the reading, right? Where she's walking out of the water. Tell us more about the Eight of Cups. Okay, so as a clarifier for the Eight of Cups, we have the King of Swords, right? What is the King of Swords about? His truth, right? It's like a no-nonsense kind of energy, right? Very serious, very determined kind of energy, right? Seeking truth, right? So she's walking away from one thing, right? What is she walking towards? She's walking towards obtaining her truth. Okay, let's ask a little bit about this beginning, right? This Ace of Cups beginning. See if we can get some more insight on that. <clears throat> Tell us more about the Ace of Cups. Okay. As a clarifier, for this Ace of Cups, we have the Justice card, right? So what I what I feel this represents, right? This is this is your beginning, right? This is your beginning that you've earned, right? This is something that you desire within you. This is the universe showing up here with the justice card, letting you know, hey, we're gonna bring you this beginning, right? We're gonna bring you this fairness and this balance, right? When, when, you're, when your balance, when your energy is at the right level, that's when this beginning comes into you. Okay, let's ask about the Hermit card. Tell us more about the Hermit. Okay, so the energy that's attached to this Hermit card, the card of Virgo, we now have the Emperor, right? And we have the King of Wands taking us out of the reading. So the Emperor, this is showing itself by the, the energy of Aries, right? So the Emperor card, this is about having your power, right? Having control. I'm just thinking, just kind of feeling the energy here in terms of what this is representing. I know it's, it's it's coming in attached to you know to, to the hermit card and, and the thing about the emperor is like the emperor is a trusted energy right that's the thing that's the important thing about the emperor is right it's the kind of energy we can all trust why because the emperor knows right people count on them they need to show up right? it's a very reliable energy right so this is coming in attached to this hermit card right so I feel like it's pointing out right this Virgo energy reliable energy that you can trust Okay, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna take a look at the cards and I just wanna come back and just share the reading with you guys start to finish. So hang tight for just a moment. Okay, so I think I have it here. 
So the energy taking us into today's tarot reading, right? We have Libra, balance, right? And here we have the Justice card coming out. It's connected to this Ace of Cups beginning, right? So some of you, right, may have, you know, this balance, this energy coming into your life, bringing you towards a new beginning, right? This is just the potential. This is what's out there, right? And this beginning, it comes in when there's balance. Energy taking us into today's reading is a star card, the card of Aquarius. So you may be an Aquarius, have an Aquarius in your life. It's a beautiful energy. It's about becoming comfortable in your own skin, right? Recognizing you're human, we're all human, getting over it, finding that balance within you, right? And once you have that balance, you have that determination. It's like, okay, now I feel like I'm, I feel whole. I feel like I'm made whole and I'm ready to move, right? Ready to work, move towards manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. Okay, how does that manifestation appear, right? So, for starters, right, we have the Four of Cups, which is representing the energy of boredom, right? Of feeling like there's more out there. There's a higher level of love, right? Because it's, it's attached to this Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is it's a higher level of love, right? Not feeling connected to this at the time, right? But the universe letting you know it's here, right? It lies ahead of you. It's all about having faith and trust. Okay, coming in next, right? we have the Hierophant card, which is the card of Taurus. So you may be a Taurus or have a Taurus in your life. So we have the World card, right? So this is representing the journey, right? The, the long journey, the hard lessons that are connected to this journey, right? Connected to the Hierophant card, it's letting us know, right? It's connected to your higher truths, right? All the wisdom, all of the growth and the understanding, right? That you've experienced in this journey right and what you're taking with you is not the pain not the limitations but you're taking with you the growth okay coming in next and showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading we have the eight of cups so it's representing the energy of walking away from something right what is she walking away from well, she's walking towards the king of swords right so she's walking away from the water the emotions and the feelings and she's she's walking towards seeking her truth right she's seeking her truth after what feels like it's been a very long journey right ten of wands Okay, coming in next, we have the Hermit card, which is the card of Virgo. And attached to this card, we have the Empress card, right? So some of you may have a Virgo in your life. Notice the, the Hermit, right? It has the lantern in front of it, illuminating the night sky around it, right? Providing the guidance, providing the intuitive guidance and the direction. Attached to this Empress energy, right? So it's letting us know, right? This is a beautiful, safe energy. I mean, we have, well, Two things attached to, to, to this uh, hermit card just occurred to me. We have the empress, right? And we have the emperor. So, I don't know, for some, we, you know, the empress and the emperor, this could represent a couple. I'm glad that came to me just then. Okay. So we look back in the past, right? What's happened in the past? Three of Swords, so heartbreak, sadness, grief. What is this connected to? The Lover's card, so the card of Gemini. Could have been connected to a Gemini, it doesn't have to be, right? But it was about a, it was about a, uh, could, could have been a romantic relationship, but it was about a relationship, a friendship, a connection of some sort, shared by two people, right? The split of that, it was felt, felt by both people. Attached to this is the Knight of Swords, right? So, truth coming into you, gaining the true understanding of what this Three of Swords is all about. Intuitively, you may already know, but we always welcome this truth coming in. And I feel like it's when this truth comes in, right, when you're able to gain the understanding of what's been taking place here, it ignites you, right? It ignites you, because you have this Ace of Cups beginning, right? And what do you get? What, what's the energy that you're gonna take with you into this beginning? King of Wands, no stopping them. So this is just great energy. It has this, has this kind of magnetic charm to them, right? The ability to sweep both men and women off their feet, right? It's very attractive and magnetic kind of energy. Just 
based in energy that serves you very well, right, as you're getting ready to embrace this energy and take it with you into this Ace of Cups beginning. Okay, guys, I'm done with today's Tarot Love reading. Really enjoyed sharing this reading with you, and thanks for letting me share in the beginning of it. Um, I always like sharing, so... And I appreciate all the all the feedback or all the, all the love and the support, the beautiful comments that you guys leave. I read all of them. Uh, they fuel me. They inspire me. You guys inspire me. I love you guys. You're the best. So I apologize that that, that the daily love reads have kind of you know have taken a little bit of a, of a hit uh, when I've switched over to the weekly zodiac readings. So I'm working on getting all that figured out. I'm I'm working on trying to get a lot of things in my life figured out. So. Thank you very much for trusting me. Thanks for believing me, for, for tuning in, for all the beautiful support. I couldn't, I couldn't be here and show up like this and have this channel on YouTube without all of you guys, right? It's all your beautiful support that makes this possible for me. So thank you so much. It's Friday, guys. Let's go have a great weekend. I'm actually getting ready to leave here to go pick up my mom and drive over to my daughter's house and, and hold my grandson for... A little while and just get a chance to really see him just kind of take in and embrace that beautiful leo energy that he's brought into this world okay we'll see about posting some pictures too okay guys have a great day thanks again for letting me share